I'm Mike from MusicRadioCreative.com. In this video, I'll show you Denoise, the brand new noise reduction feature in Adobe Audition CC 2019. So here we are in Adobe Audition CC 2019, and I'm gonna compare Denoise to some of the previous noise reduction effects you've been used to in Adobe Audition. Let's have a listen. Uh, and you probably could. Uh, the point here that is that it would make so much noise that people- Okay, so we can hear some background noise, some street noise. We can also hear some wind rumble around here. If you listen to that, that sort of bass rumble, I'm gonna show you how to get rid of both those things. But first of all, let's go in, select all, effects, noise reduction, restoration. This brand new D noise feature is pretty cool and I'll show you why. Uh, so let's go back to the default settings. It's just pretty much one slider. One slider does everything for you. I know, fantastic, right? So no noise reduction, 100% noise reduction. Let's just gradually move this up and listen to the difference. Uh, and you probably could. Uh, the point here that is that it would make so much noise that people could get away. And that, I think, is the main part of this. Really good. So let's switch it off and on. Uh, and you probably could. Off. Uh, the point here on. That is that it would make so much noise that people could get away. Off again. And that, I think... You can definitely hear the background noise without denoise working. So it's really, really cool stuff. Now, if you want, I can go into the preview window. You can crank this right up and you can have a look at... Um, the job it's doing. It's removing frequencies that really shouldn't be there and trying to keep the speech in using cool machine learning. You can go in and change this processing focus here and tell it, okay, just focus on lower frequencies. And then you'll see that some of the higher frequencies come back in on spectral frequency. You can tell it to focus on the mid range as well, if you prefer. And again, slight changes to what it's doing there. Or focus on just low end and high end, uh, or of course, focus on high end frequencies. So if you know, for instance, there's a lot of bass rumble in your audio, you might want to tell it just to focus on the low end. But in my experience so far, focusing on all frequencies across the board works the best in my experience. And again, if you want to hear what you're taking out, you can click here, output the noise only. Uh, no and while you can hear a little bit of the speech there that is being removed, you can hear a heck of a lot of background noise that's being reduced using denoise. So a really cool, clever feature that is literally just at its simplest form, moving this slider up and down till you hit the sweet spot. So really good for simple noise reduction. Let me show you previous ways of doing this in older versions of Adobe Audition. You'd have to go through, find a little bit of noise without any speech. There we go. And without breath, because that can affect things. And then you'd have to go in, effects, noise reduction, restoration, capture the noise print, and click OK to that. And you'd have to double click, go into effects, and you'd have to go to uh, noise reduction process. And then you'd have to play this uh, noise reduction of 60%. Uh, and you probably could. Uh, and I can still hear noise in the background, so I'd move it up to 85% maybe. Uh, and you probably could. Uh, and it's starting to disappear, but maybe we'll need to go to 100%. So let's try and listen to that. Uh, and you probably could. Uh, the point here that is that it now you can hear that kind of reverby effect and that kind of washed out sound. So obviously it sounds to me like it's not doing as good a job as the denoise effect, which is fantastic. There's also, of course, uh, sound removal, which again, you can go into effects, uh, the sound remover here. So learning the sound model, clicking OK. This is a real intensive effect. And again, uh, sound remover process, uh, waiting for this to work and get the preview here. Uh, and you probably could. Uh, the point here that is that it would make... And it works quite well, but still, I think the denoise, the latest feature in Adobe Audition CC 2019, is trumping all of the other noise reduction features. It really is very, very good. So let's go back into effects. Let's go back to denoise. Let's run that over this piece of audio at, uh, let's say, around... Hmm, let's see, around 70%. Make sure we're not outputting the noise only. Apply it. And you'll notice still, if I go back into spectral frequency, there is that terrible, that wind rumble here. Uh, and you can even see it here displayed in the waveform as a big, huge wave. So how to get rid of something like that? Uh, and you probably could. Uh, the point here that... Now we've got a nice clean uh, bit of speech there with less background noise. Well, a couple of ways you can go around this. First of all, using EQ. Parametric Equalizer will help you with this. If we go back to default, you can either just notch it out like uh, this. And you probably could. Uh, the point... Uh, and you probably could. Uh, trying to find exactly where that bass frequency is. Um, but really the best thing you can do is go for a high pass filter, HP on, and just wave this up to about 100 hertz until you see that wind rumble disappears. It also disappears from the waveform. Uh, and you probably could. 
Uh, the point here that is that it would. And the wind rumble has gone. Listen. Uh, the Hardly any wind rumble. Back in. Uh, wind rumble. Uh, no wind rumble. So high pass filter will really solve that issue. Something that the uh, noise removal plugins and denoise won't necessarily do for you, but they'll get you pretty much 95% of the way there. And then it's just a few tweaks afterwards. So denoise, just fantastic new stuff in Adobe Audition CC 2019. Enjoy using it on your audio. And let me know how you get on in the comments to this video. <laughs>